is up, everybody? So Jerry Buting, who was one of Stephen Avery's original trial attorneys and you will recognize from the Making a Murderer docu-series, has spoken out once again on Convicting a Murderer, which is the Daily Wire Plus's rebuttal to Making a Murderer. And he comes out swinging. This could be a first-round knockout. Now, if you followed my channel at all, you know that I'm a fan of Jerry Buting. Is it weird to say you're a fan of a lawyer? Doesn't matter. I am. I've read his book. I absolutely love it. I love the part towards the end where he talks about how he wanted to fight Ken Kratz. I think it was in the judge's chambers. Absolutely amazing read. But to keep things fair, I've also read Ken Kratz's book, Sean Atwood's book, uh, Michael Griesbach's book, uh, John Farrick's book, and and I'm currently watching Convicting a Murder. I like to keep things fair. I'd like to not only know one side of the story. I'd like to know everybody's opinion on everything. It doesn't matter whether I agree with it or not. I want to know absolutely everything about the subject that I am looking into. Woo! Convicting a Murder has been airing on Daily Wire Plus, and uh, it has been getting a lot of attention, especially on Twitter. The comments, the tweets, the retweets, the engagement, the, the back and forth between everybody involved. Candace Owens is even involved in a lot of it. Uh, the creators, extremely active. Sean Reck, Jerry Buting's active. It is, there is a ton of information flowing. So if you want, give me a follow at Allegedly a Show on Twitter and we can talk about convicting a murderer. The information that is coming out over there is great. Now let's get to what Jerry Buting said. Stated. He says, and I will put it up on the screen for you, so episode 3 of Convicting a Murderer had to do a lot with the Averys and Miners. It is was an extremely hard watch. I, uh, I'm not going to lie, that episode was extremely difficult to get through. Now, before that episode aired, I asked Candace Owens, Sean Rack, Daily Wire Plus, if they were going to talk about Earl Avery's past. Since he was a big part of the documentary, since he, it appears he will continue to be a big part of the documentary, docu-series going forward, and they were talking about, and rightfully so, in a negative light, all the things Stephen Avery did in his past, I asked if they were going to mention Earl Avery's past, and Candace Owens said, and I'll put it up on the screen for you, that they were absolutely going to mention Earl Avery's past. If episode three is what they were mentioning, talking about Earl Avery's past, they extremely glossed over it. I would be embarrassed to say that that is what they meant by talking about Earl Avery's past. Now, there's still, what, seven more episodes left to go, so I will withhold complete judgment on that until the final episode and see if they do mention Earl Avery's past to see if they go into what he actually did, since he is a big part of the docuseries. Back to Jerry Buting. We all know about Ken Kratz's past as well, and if you don't look it up, it's also disgusting and gross. Jerry Buden tweeted out this. Convicting a murderer may have a fair point. A great many credible allegations of sexual abuse were omitted from making a murderer. But in defense of the making a murderer creators, making a murderer was not supposed to be about Ken Kratz. Bam. Hashtag 15 women, hashtag making a murderer, and he tags Kathleen Zellner as well. Woo! That's a, that's a shot. Those are shots fired. Because Ken Kratz also has a ton of allegations against him as well. It's disgusting that so many people involved on the, on the other side of the camera of this project as subjects are, have done those types of things. It's disgusting. It's deplorable. Whether it be Stephen Avery, Earl Avery, Ken Kratz... God knows who else involved on the other side of the camera in this docu-series. It's disgusting. And if you're going to have Earl Avery featured, be honest about it. Don't fool your Daily Wire Plus subscribers. Don't fool the Daily Wire. Don't gloss over it like Candace Owens said that they were going to cover it and then not cover it. Be honest and open. Tell people what Earl Avery did. Tell people this is the person their information is coming from. This is what he did in his past so that they can make up their minds whether they want to trust his opinion or not. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. Hope you're having a good day and I will see you again soon.